Hello, welcome to my new studio. This is Rusty78609 from a slightly different camera angle. <clears throat> the reason I'm doing that is because I got a text from my son that said I looked like I weighed 350 pounds and I weigh 168 and I'm 6 feet 2. So I felt like maybe I'll do something about that. Yo, 350, huh, bud? Ain't you got no cooth? Anyway, uh, I got a comment here, and I'm going to try to dig through it and make a video out of it. Because it's, it's interesting, I think, for a lot of people that are uh, getting, into, uh, the new, getting into the technology and all the stuff. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. It says, now I have a Canon Zoom 40, 15, Zoom 4.3, blah, blah, blah. It's a get up and personal while being far away. Uh, I like the process of taking a picture, but then I'm done. Can't afford to get SD card developed right away. Could you say something about SD cards? <clears throat> Never did know how they work. Do you have to fill them before developing, or can you use same one, blah, blah, blah. Okay, she's asking about SD, little SD cards. You know, you get 8 megabytes or 8 gigabytes, 16, 32, 64, 128, whatever you can get and whatever your camera will hold. Uh, in my Cricut wireless smartphone, the largest SD card you can put in is a 32 gigabyte, and it'll hold a ton of... Of pictures. In fact, I don't think you could take enough pictures in your lifetime to fill it up. That's one. Now, videos, uh, I can probably get 10 hours of video on it, HD. But anyway, having said that, <clears throat> take the deal. Okay, what you do when you've got an SD card and a camera, you, know, you can go to Walmart with your little SD card, or actually you can do it over the internet. Okay, you can actually download your pics to uh, Walmart, and they'll have you have them ready when you get there. Okay, and the SD card, what you need to do is there's a way on your camera somewhere to go in there and uh, <clears throat> delete pictures on the card. You can either delete them one at a time, or you can delete all of them. But now remember this, whenever you delete them, you ain't getting them back. I mean, when you hit the delete, it's gone. So in other words... And, and as far as, you know, get, getting them, <clears throat> it says, do you have to fill them before developing? No, you can get, you can have one picture on your SD card or one video on your SD card and uh, either send it up to uh, YouTube or send it to whoever you want to develop that picture and make a print out of it, whoever. But again, SD cards hold an amazing amount of data, I promise you. I mean, <clears throat> and I'll say this again, I'll say it again. I've got a 32 gigabyte SD card in my Cricut phone, 32 gigs. I can do a month's worth of videos doing three or four a day and go in and still have some space, plenty of space left. So if you have a 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, I promise you, you cannot fill it up in your lifetime. All right, unless you're just, I can't imagine how many pictures it would take, you know, individual photos it would take to fill up a 32 or a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card. A lot, a lot. But anyway, uh, so the question is, uh, could you say something about the SD cards I did? Now, I never did know how they work. It's just a story. It's like a, it's like a hard disk and a computer on it. It's a little bitty bitty one, okay? Um, do you have to fill them up before developing? No, you don't. You don't have to worry about that. You can use the same one over and over. You can use the same SD card, I, I guess, virtually forever. Uh, once developed, do you lose the pick? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Now, once you send it to Walmart, it's still on that SD card until you go in there and delete it. So you can have that picture stored on that SD card for 50 years, as long as there's a device that will handle it. So anyway, <clears throat> how, uh, 
Having said that, I'm just testing out really my new camera angle. I think it looks a little better. It actually does. I mean, I like this. So I'll, we'll work with this. We'll work with this. I don't. I look like I weigh 290 now instead of 350. Is that right? So uh, I had a, had several other comments. <clears throat> Here's one. Well, I won't buy. I won't combine them. I don't like to combine them. It, you know, whenever you. <clears throat> I know I clear my throat a lot because I'm getting old, but that's just the way it is. I'll tell you something that helps. Right now, there's some stuff blooming in this area, and I had one guy ask about the, the uh, what do you call it, uh, things that you're allergic to in this area. Well, there's some little plants that bloom this time of the year, and I'm not sure what they call them. They have a little white bloom about as long as your thumb, and they smell real good, but they pump out a ton of pollen, and I'm kind of semi-allergic to that. I mean, I get a little itchy nose every now and then, and my throat does this. <clears throat> in the uh, winter time, starting about not well, that winter starting about can start in December, but usually it's January or February. We get the cedar pollen, and sometimes it can be really bad. And your eyes will itch, your nose will drip, and uh, but it only lasts about two weeks, and then it's gone. So those are the two things that cause my allergic reactions in this area. And, uh, but anyway, that should do it on SD cards. Yeah, they are wonderful. I love them. I'm amazed that you can get so much data on them. But no, once you develop that, once you send that picture to somewhere to get it turned into a print, you haven't, it hasn't been, it's still on that SD card till you delete it. But once you delete it, you ain't getting it back. Anyway, having said that, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs> Enjoy your day.